still got my glasses on. Hi, welcome to Rob Harwood Sacks. This is lesson five and today as you can see on the board we're going to talk about the octave key and even more notes. So yeah, there's a lot to cover. So you remember when we first showed you, uh, or rather when we showed you in the first lesson, or second lesson where to put our hands and those sorts of things, I think it was the second lesson, but I forget a lot. So we had our left hand on the front three keys here and on the back I told you to rest your thumb on this rest and above it there's this key and this is called the octave key because yeah guess what it lifts the whole thing an octave so if I play a G and then press the octave key it'll go up an octave So I'll turn around a bit so you can see, hopefully, how you're looking. Hope that one's clear. So, no matter what note we're playing, or to within certain confines for this set of lessons, we're going to say that we lift an octave. So if I play a bottom D, and put the octave key on, it goes up to a D. That wasn't right. between the lower note and the higher note is I'm putting the octave key on and so that's quite a good one there so we're now getting more notes as we go along so we've now got D E F F sharp G A B and to fit in with what I'm going to talk about in a bit uh, the tune that I played at the end of the last lesson I need to tell you about a C sharp which is I showed you the C before, well if we have all fingers off, and this is a difficult one to keep in tune because we've not got a lot of control of the instrument, we play C sharp, so that's everything open. Yeah, really nice. So, from there we then put the octave key on and close all our fingers on. So, it's exactly the same as when we're playing it low without the octave key, your hand's doing the same, other than we put the octave key on and then we continue up E, F, F sharp, G, A, B and so on and it just gets higher and we keep the octave key on. So we get up to C, C sharp, then we go up by closing all our fingers down again which a bit takes a bit of getting your head around, put the octave key on and we keep that octave key on then all the time going E, F, F sharp, G, A, B, so octave key once it goes on and we're continuing up it has to stay on. This often causes a bit of confusion for people, but it sorts itself out in the end. You just have to persevere with this thing and it'll come. So, sound is easy. It's all it is, it's just remembering to put that octave key on and not create yourself problems. Okay, so that's good for you and more notes to think about. So, let's go back to our tune that we played at the end of the last lesson. Do you remember it? <laughs> So, for the English people, they'll all know, or the UK people, they'll all know that that's uh, the theme tune from EastEnders, which is a soap opera. Uh, quite a famous thing, but not my taste, but hey, it's got nothing to do with me, I'm just teaching the tune. So, the reason I really like that tune is because it's a scale, it starts on our D and then goes E, F sharp, G, A and up to B. <laughs> with no rhythm that's just the straight scale then we go to that if we're going to complete the scale forgetting the tune we're going to go up to C sharp which was that new note I showed you and then after that we have to put the octave key on and close our hands up to play the D so hope you can see that so from the B everything open for C sharp and then all on and the octave key for D. Okay, we need to know those sorts of notes. If we continue up from that D, that 
that's got as far as A. That is where I need to go to today for you for this little tune. So. a slip of my tongue. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please keep checking back. We'll have some more up and we'll continue with this tune and more tunes. Show you about scales, chords and hopefully get you really playing this instrument. Bye.